Um, the landscape right now, on the board of directors, you have the average age across America of board members is like basically 70. Um, so it's like people who are retired or retiring, and nonprofits across the country are like, we need to figure out how to connect with the next generation. And so like, that's why like, we're sort of like, solving a very like, immediate need for them. Um, they are so keen and like, on like, figuring out how to connect with that next generation so that it's like, not really uh, a problem. They, they, they love us. They don't pay too, so that helps. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for asking that. Um, so I, I'm someone who was not born in America. Um, I moved here when I was 12 years old with my sister. And um, we grew up in an inner city, if you will, um, in New York City, up in Harlem, back when Harlem was a little different. Um, and nonprofits played a really important role in our lives. Um, growing up in a single parent home, um, my mom like found out about prep schools through her like nanny jobs, and uh, she wanted to get us the best possible education. And so, nonprofits like really played an important role in like making that happen for us. Um, like right now, my sister is at Mount Sinai Medical School, um, and after college, I actually ended up working on Wall Street. So, uh, I've like experienced um, the value of the work that nonprofits do as a beneficiary. Um, and the reason why I enjoy waking up every morning and I look forward to Mondays is like we're building a platform that's fundamentally like changing uh, corporate culture for the better, where we're like introducing their young professionals to philanthropy and the fact that they'll be able to like get involved at an early stage and like help so many more people. And we have so many stories about like our, our members across different nonprofits. Uh, like we have hundreds of them um, who are like really doing a lot of good. Um, get if I, bravo for getting that much money from uh, corporations for nonprofits. How, what's the use case there? Like why why would a business want to pay that much money per employee? You have Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> think about gym membership. Companies will pay for that because they know that if you're healthier, then you're more productive. So like there is definitely like that self interest aspect of like offering what we offer um, our service. Um, companies know right now that two things: millennials love this. Like they really want to find a way to like connect, like they're professionalized with like a sense of purpose. And so like that's a big thing for them. They want to be able to like attract, retain the best talent. And this is a huge selling point. Second, um, if you are someone who's really involved and like purpose driven, you are actually more productive. To that company, you met your 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 productivity is just like uh, like so much research like show that like it's so much better. So like we are solving so much for the company um, in terms of like retaining uh, millennials and improving their bottom line. And I gotta pull the hook. <laughs> Great job! Thank you very much. Okay, now our benefactor tonight, Soho Places, Virginie. Seat, two seats left. Yeah, she's big on filling the seats, guys. Come on, you guys. Audience participation. I'll take you. Here, one second. You ready to roll? I am. I don't know. Okay. Just gonna tell a story. We don't need no stinky presentation. Exactly. All right. Ready? Roll. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Thank you for coming. I'm excited to be in front of you, and welcome to Soho Places. So Soho Places, as you can see, this is the better store. Two months ago, we've opened. What we're trying to do is very simple. We're trying to help freelancers' lives. And we're talking about 40% of the American population in 2020 will be freelancers, mostly baby boomers and millennials. This Soho Places, which actually means small office, home office, is a quiet space, very flexible and affordable. Six dollars an hour to come in, get a table, and do your thing. Meet, work, focus. This is a place where doers come. This is not about, you know, pretending. This is about doing. But why? Why people are coming back? It's the community. We're building an app called Soho Connect, 
and that allows people to see who's in the location while there is. In the back of that board is the foundation of Soho Connect. It's actually email addresses with sticky notes. This is what I need from the community. This is what I'm willing to offer. It's a business matchmaking. We've opened two months ago, and we're going wherever people want us to go. Um, we're now raising about $200,000 to continue the journey to open another location in Midtown. But most importantly, I'm looking for a partner, someone who can help me drive and scale this business on every corner of every block in the city. Thank you very much. Good job. Okay, we get four minutes for Q and A from the crowd. Yes. Yeah. What um, challenges do you do you see yourself facing? You know, as far as expansion is concerned. That's a great question. Um, challenges. I don't know. I think until you face them, you don't actually know. Right now, it's just that there's too much demand. We're ready. We're growing 150% month over month. I just can't keep up with the demand. I'm overwhelmed. That's my challenge. I need someone to, who sees the vision, who believes that people need a quiet space to work and to meet. And the real value is when you connect individual and help them, them build their practices. So I think that's my first challenge. Um, you, so this is a marketplace, not only a workplace. So could you please elaborate on that? Like, as a company, for example, can I outsource something I have through your app? How does that work? Do I have to be a member? That kind of stuff. Um, yes, and yes. Mm -hmm. So Soho Connect, um, which is basically in its infancy, mm -hmm. will be will be a member driven. So you'll have to be a member. Mm -hmm. um, the app will only be available if you're in the location, so we become a destination. Okay. This is about enabling relationship. I think what's happening in society today is two things. First of all, people are extremely lonely. Mm -hmm. And loneliness is not that we are away from other people. We're extremely connected. Loneliness is when you lost touch with who you are. Why? Because you care too much about what other people think. Because you're too addicted to social media, you're fearful of the world, and there's plenty of reason for that. So to get back to yourself, you have to be in a quiet space. You have to really know what is it that you want to do. And we really have a short life here. So time is all we have. And that's why we have artists. To remind us that the only thing that we have while we're living is really, you know, worth living is creation and experiences. When we die, nothing will take with us. So as a small business owner, I do want to give you access to freelancers. Mm -hmm. And that's actually, we had a couple of events um, a few days ago. Every night we have events with meetups and uh, it's all about gathering and putting people together, which creates magic. But we had an event about the gig economy. And as a small business owner, the best way to grow is to have access to those freelancers much cheaper and a lot more creative. So yes, as a freelancer, we have a number, we're trying a number program. Again, we're doing what people want to do, mm -hmm. we're listening. Um, one of the program is expert in-house. I see people coming on and on, mm -hmm. and those people are freelancers, they master one great skill. What's happening is that they're lacking all the surrounding skills to build their practice. So what we do is we offer legal counsel, the same people or offering their own services. Now, it could create relationship, lead generation, you name it. You take it wherever you want. Thank you. Yes. How much does it cost to run out? Six dollars an hour. You get coffee, birch coffee, tea and Wi-Fi. That's it. Now, we do have flex passes. So you can buy bulk of 20 hours, 40 hours. We also have a day pass. We see a number of entrepreneur wannabe who will dedicate one day and they spend the entire day. It's 24 bucks an hour, a day. And we have a monthly pass uh, for $210. Yeah. You can't beat that. <laughs> but if you come here, and I, want, I don't want you to stay for hours on end, I want, here, I want you to come to meet the right people at the right time, but most importantly, to be focused and productive. So the entire space is soundproof. <laughs> 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 
Do you have an annual pass? We don't. But I'll make one for you if you like. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. live like two blocks away from here, so like this would be very convenient for us. Yeah, that's a deal. Yeah. And I think everybody got two hours, right? And you get the card. <laughs> if you go on Facebook Messenger, you type several places. You can book ahead of time, um, or you can walk in. But if you go on Messenger, you'll get two hours free. Awesome. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Great questions. See here. And our final is Spanalytic Panos or Panos. How do I say your name right? Panos. Panos. It's Greek. Did you guys know that? Yeah, actually, it's Panos. Well. See, I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready to roll? Do you have, would you have a presentation? I'm sorry. Hello, can you hear me well? Yes. Yep. Okay, probably you know all the big short movie. Okay. Okay, so, one bro. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Actually, it's a New York based movie about uh, how the market blew up 10 years ago in 2008. So, actually, what's happening is that the problem still persists. Uh, the market blow up because of uh, high credit risk and uh, regulatory failures. So, uh, my uh, team and uh, I, we have built a new technology, which we call uh, Spin Analytics. We are based in London, we just moved in New York uh, one month ago. And uh, actually what we are doing is that we completely automated uh, credit risk modeling, which is uh, a part of uh, uh, risk management, which goes inside the core banking systems. And it's the main uh, reason why uh, markets blow up 10 years ago, and they still have this kind of risk. So our technology is uh, AI, ML uh, driven. Uh, we have uh, built an automated platform which actually reduces the time and cost more than 90%. Uh, when uh, today uh, every bank wants to have uh, from hundreds to thousands of credit risk models that they use to price uh, the risk in uh, loan portfolios. And this uh, technology actually allows to automatically build a credit risk model, which today takes about six months, and we can build this in a couple of hours. This is a high uh, expensive uh, business. Its model costs more than half a million. We can go up to uh, 50,000 as a real cost for the bank. We are in the market the last uh, six months, and we have uh, 40 accounts and three paying customers. Now answer Q&A. Anyone want to ask anything? Uh, are you now in Berlin or do you have the US? Uh, yeah, we have uh, global banks mainly. We won uh, four competitions the last uh, five months. Uh, Barclays, uh, BBVA, Deutsche Bank and Credit Agricole. These are all global banks. Uh, we have uh, finished the pilots for BBVA. BBVA is a uh, one trillion assets under management bank. They are sponsoring us for Singapore uh, Money 2020 in two weeks, actually. It's the biggest fintech event. And uh, we are uh, in uh, two banks we have uh, in uh, uh, ready contracts and they are already paying us. Uh, we have three pilots with global banks and late stage uh, discussions about installing the software. And uh, the rest are all uh, late stage uh, discussions with uh, almost 40 banks. Are you selling like a flower as a license, monthly license? Yeah, this is a, going to be annual license and the pricing for one trillion uh, bank is going to be 10 million annual fee. The current cost that they have is more than one, 150 million. So it's a quite big uh, sector. They have fixed cost, which is uh, coming from the risk management regulations. Regulators like Fed here or ECB in Europe, they are following very closely that. They have stress testings every year, so it's an ongoing uh, cost that uh, the banks have to suffer, and for this, they actually they don't give loans. Any other questions, please? Please. All right, so when a bank is using the service, they use the service on top of your servers or on top of theirs, and then how do you get uh, past the security problems? With uh, we, we have passed all the security issues, so we have checked every single checkbox, inside. 
Uh, actually, what is happening here is that we are receiving the data. The system automatically cleans the data, which are uh, appropriate data for uh, the loan portfolios, and automatically develops the model and produces the documentation, which today is happening only manually. That's the towards the process. And all these uh, are following the latest regulations globally, so this means that uh, they can still send the documentation to the regulators right away, while today they are paying consultants for 700,000 just for one model. Yeah, thank you very much. Do with you, sorry. It's <laughs> like <laughs> so I turned my volume on in the message. <laughs> okay. So, what do you mean? You've got a minute and a half, so you're good. Please. Any questions? So, are you putting on the on the bank, and is that what, or the job? And is yeah, actually, it's coming with the AI. Everybody is going to lose his job, but in this case, no. Because <laughs> the, this is a, actually a special sector. It's not easy to find PhDs with quantitative skills. So actually, we are expanding them. We can have uh, thousands of them instead of hundreds that are currently in the market. So we augment with the credit risk modeling teams. Do you need an analyst on top of that? I thought this will do the, this will actually do the... Yeah, the analysts need this because they have a lot of modeling projects. So there's not only the loan portfolios, stress testing, or IFRS 9, or even uh, securitizations. They all need credit risk models. So every time they need to build a new one, so someone has to decide what model. And after they just press enter, actually. This is how it's happening there. What, what's the state you're in right now? Uh, we are uh, just having some revenue, mm -hmm. uh, but we are very close to multi-million contracts, which are going to happen this semester. Probably. Are you raising money right now? Uh, we are waiting a little bit. <laughs> I would think. But uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, yeah. we have to wait a little because uh, these are, uh, this is a big market. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, the only technology, and actually uh, we are going to announce first the project in Singapore in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Until now, the competitors, which are the monthly consulting companies, they don't know us. <laughs> so, we'll see that. Wow. Great job. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Here's the moment of truth. Um, okay. So, has anybody not been able to get on the poll? What do you mean? Um, so, we, at the, at the beginning, I said to go to founderslive.com, and there's a poll posted there. So I, and I had sent out an email before too. So I, I just want to figure out, should we use the poll or do we have to do hands? But hands, all right. That makes it more dramatic. Or immediate. So think real hard, okay? Oh man, hold on a second, it's not on here. You know, I have this really amazing habit of not plugging in, even though I got power. Look at that. All right, we, we won't, we won't use the flapping method, right? We'll just, <laughs> that's, that's kind of a European sports thing. Huh? All right, if you think that Down to Dash was the top pitching company today, raise your hand. Okay, if you think that Flume Health was the top pitching company today, raise your hand. Carry Club? Ooh. Ooh. I'm not really good at math, but. <laughs> Soho Places? Got some votes there. And then Spin Analytics. So, I'm no genius, but. Mm -hmm. my, my, my count says that Carry Club has won the inaugural Founders Live Pitch! Okay, so just as I said before, and actually, so who do you think who do you think came second? Soho. You thought it was Soho? <laughs> I can't remember. Right. We're. You know what? I know the guy replied real well. So you're gonna get all all presenters get five thousand dollars in AWS credits. So hopefully that's helpful. I don't know if anybody's built on AWS. Yep. If you're not, well, there you go. Hopefully that uh, helps you out. And then you can lobby the other ones that aren't to get their five grand, maybe? I don't know. 
I don't know how that works. Um, and then you also get a year of uh, reply.io, so I don't know if you use marketing automation today, but uh, it's actually a really good email sequencing tool. So what I'm going to do is you get 12 months. It was supposed to be staggered, but I realized that's just way too hard for me. So everybody else is going to get six months. Okay. Um, we're going to do another of these events. The idea is we're going to do this once a month. That's kind of the cadence. So it'll be 30 days from probably today. And I can't remember what date we set. But uh, what I'd love to see, I, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for coming out to everybody. Thank you very much to the pitch companies. You guys did an amazing job. I think you all took this seriously. And I see some real clown shows in San Francisco just so you know. <laughs> so you guys weren't like that at all. I think they take, take it for granted a little bit that you're just going to show up pitching and somebody's going to throw $2 million at you. And a lot of you guys are smart enough to not to ask for money, and that's awesome. Because uh, you know you got something good going on. Uh, what I'd like to ask is that you guys all come back and bring friends, okay? Because I believe that this has a lot of potential, and I've seen it grow in other cities, and this is obviously the first one, which is normal, that we would get, you know, 20, 30 people. Uh, I'd love to see this get to 50, and then 80, and then 100, and then plus, plus, plus. That's what's happening in other places. We'll work real hard to uh, network with everybody to make sure we get really good pitch companies. And if you want to pitch, uh, make sure you send, you can send me an email at robot at automategrow.biz. Um, automate grow up is like my book, so if you go automate grow, it's actually automate and grow, but the website's not. If that makes sense. Please talk to me before you leave, or make sure you add me on LinkedIn. I'd love to stay in touch with everybody. Uh, anything anyone wants to add? Yes. Uh, I just want to say thank you to So for hosting us. I really appreciate that. Thank